follow me on Instagram you know the struggles I've been through with my external hard drive <laughs> it was chaotic 2020 could not get any worse <laughs> you know what let me just not jinx it cuz <laughs> I mean it could get worse <laughs> yeah so this is the second external hard drive that fails on me the first one actually it was my fault because I dropped it this one was my fault <laughs> I don't know, it just slowly started dying on me and I couldn't save my stuff. The video I had already edited, which was my previous video, there was not enough space in my laptop, so... <sighs> but it's okay. We have a new solid state drive, so it'll be faster and it'll last longer. <laughs> Today's video is the unboxing for May's BoxyCharm. As you may know from my last video, BoxyCharm was kind enough to give me the base box for the month of May as well. So thank you so much and without further ado, let's jump in. This time we didn't get any eyeshadow palette, but it's okay because the previous box I got two palettes. I used the Zueva Aristo palette on my eyes. The theme for the month of May was Mother Nature. There's no card in the box. I'll search up the product and give you guys the price. So I'm gonna start with this. One. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this on my Instagram story. It says the sneak peek. This is the Tarte Micellar Magic Makeup Remover and Cleanser. Oh my god, guys. It's such a beautiful packaging. It's a plastic transparent bottle and it has like this sticker on the back that has leaves and it's so pretty. If you open the lid, oh my god, it's so cute. It has a pumper. You just use a cotton pad at the top and squeeze it down to get the product out. It's to prevent making any messes. This has 6.4 fluid ounces it doesn't have a scent I haven't removed my entire makeup with it but I did remove my swatches and I did cleanse my face before applying my makeup it seems to work pretty good it does say here that you don't have to rinse after you use this it says it retails for $24 the next item that I got is the pretty vulgar eyeshadow primer it's so cute it has 10 milliliters of product inside it has a little tip so you just squeeze it out to get the product. The first eye that I used, I did use a little bit too much, which I believe I didn't have to use so much. So the next eye, I didn't squeeze so much product out. It is a very sticky formula, so your eyeshadow will stay in place. It definitely did add more pigmentation to the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow didn't need a primer but it did intensify because I wanted the crease to be a little bit more faded out than the eyelid. It doesn't bother me. After you apply the eyeshadow, it doesn't feel sticky. It's not creasing at all. It's still in place. The eyeshadow that I'm wearing from the Aristo palette is blessing this one right here. I wanted to use that color so bad. I love this eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna keep using it. For values at $22. The next item is the Black Lash Primer Jet Black Volume by Blink. It's supposed to be a primer, but it's in black. It kind of has a little bit of those fibers in it. Not a lot. I definitely see some fibers mixed in with the liquid. So I applied this primer before putting on my false lashes and it definitely did extend them. But I did feel like it kind of brought them down because it's brand new. I always have this problem with any mascara. When it's brand new, it feels a little bit too wet. So it brings down my lashes. But I did like that it's black. I don't know if you're supposed to put your normal mascara afterwards. I didn't. Let's see if it does say, it does say that vitamin and nourishing ingredients impart long-lasting moisturization and conditioning to protect lashes from damage prior to applying mascara build as many coats as desired within 60 seconds to immediately thicken and lengthen lashes comes off with any makeup remover okay so I didn't do that <laughs> I only applied the primer because it got very thick within I'm assuming that I did 60 seconds I didn't want to put more mascara because it was already black but it is recommended to use your mascara afterwards I'll try it again and use both the primer and my regular mascara this retails for $26 I am wearing the lash that I got in my previous Foxy Charm, the Battington Lashes in the style Harlow. Okay, moving on to the next item. I got the Hourglass Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick in the shade Champagne Flash. Oh my god, guys. 
I was super excited for this item. So when you take it out of the box, this highlighter stick feels heavy. I can't get enough of this packaging. Even if it's a little bit heavy, I love it. It does leave a lot of fingerprints, but I don't care. It feels very, very bougie. It comes in a triangle form. I did not put this directly on my skin. I swatched it on my hand and from there, I took my beauty blender and I bounced it off of it to get the product on the beauty blender and it applied flawlessly, guys. It applied really, really pretty. And I'm wearing it. I freaking love this highlighter so freaking much. Like I said, I got the shade Champagne Flash. Shades vary in different boxes, so you could be getting a different kind of color. I did do a sneak peek in there and I showed the other products that you might receive, but I'm happy that I got this one. I, I loved every other option that you could have received, but I'm so happy I got this one. It's so, like, I love it. There's no scent either on it, <laughs> so if you're worried about scent, there's no scent at all. This little guy values at $42. And the last item that I got is by the brand Jouer Cosmetics. This is the Sheer Pigment Lip Gloss with Coconut Oil. I also saw these ones. I also added them on the sneak peek. They look so pretty. I got the shade Via Condotti. This is the beautiful packaging. It's so pretty. It looks like it has a space here to slide it on something. I'm not sure what. I don't know if the other lipsticks have a bump that attaches to this other lipstick. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a sheer pigment. Kind of like a tint. I'm wearing it. I don't know how it comes off on camera. I'm looking at it on the screen and it looks very patchy. But I'm looking at it in person and it looks fine. It looks like a tint. It feels comfortable on the lips. It does not feel sticky at all. It does say in the back that it's a lightweight, non-sticky gloss. It glides on smoothly and delivers a sheer wash of color. So there is the sheer wash of color. It does not look how it looks on the monitor. In person, it does not look like that. It does say it moisturizes your lips with coconut oil and jojoba seed oil. This gloss retails for $17. And that was all the items I received. I'm super happy with what I received in my base box this month. I was so glad that I got brands that I never have purchased before but I've always wanted to try. Like the Hourglass and Jouer. My favorite item for this month. I would probably ha I have two. Obviously, the Hourglass is one of my favorite ones. The second product would have to be the Tarte Micellar Magic. These two are my favorite ones. Okay, so let's jump into the makeup tutorial. completes this video I hope you guys liked it please don't forget to thumbs this video up also don't forget to leave in the comments down below your favorite item and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys to my next video bye